Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I um, am using my headset mic for today's video because there are people in my house and hopefully using the headset ma mic will make it less, will make it so that you can hear them less, less, so, yeah, um, and, uh, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be ranking the, uh, Injustice 2 and 1 characters on a scale from 1, no, what am I saying? We're going to be ranking these Injustice 2 characters in this tier list, which, which we have S, A, B, C, D, and F. S being, of course, the best, and F being, it sucks. So, yeah, and also, I have not played Injustice 1, so though, so Injustice 1 characters will be ranked based off design alone, and Injustice 2 characters will be ranked on, on appearance and gameplay, except for the ones that I didn't play as, because I haven't played as every character. So, uh, yeah, um, I got a bunch of tabs opened. With every Injustice 2 character. So we can see him better. I just wanted to stop so I don't have the Injustice 1 characters. And also, I don't even know this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Because they're just cut off. I'm sure if they weren't cut off or if I knew who they were, I would know them. So... Yeah, uh, so let's just, uh, oh yeah, by the way, here is the name, if you want to, you know, use it yourself. So, that's, that was my poorly made intro, so let's just get into it. And, uh, starting off, we have Green Lantern. We have a tab here. And looking at this design, I like it. I think he looks nice. It's, uh, it, the black, the, uh, under p armor is not pitch black, it's more of a gray. And I like that contrast with green. It looks better than if, um, it was pitch black and green. That would still look nice, but I think this is better. And, uh, yeah, this design looks pretty nice. And I do really like it. Looks a lot like Hal Jordan, that face. I like the uh, glowing bits on the suit. And yeah, this guy also has a costume. It's uh, this guy, John Stewart, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, I like this guy as well. I think he looks nice with the white glowing eyes. The suit looks different, and I really like it. I like this uh, lantern more, but the only design that we're ranking, because they don't have the alternate costumes, is uh, Hal. So, uh, let's go back to the tier list. And honestly, this design, it's definitely not the worst. It's definitely not the best, I feel like. And also, gameplay-wise, I like his mech. I like his uh, special move where it's the mech thing. I think that's pretty fun. And overall, he's a fun character, but not the best. I'm going to put him as solid A. I think his design and gameplays... I think his design is really good, but I feel like there are definitely better characters with design and gameplay-wise. But anyway, uh... Next, we have Batman! Uh, honestly, this design, it looks really nice. Uh, definitely not as good as some other designs, like the Arkham games. The Arkham games is a real, has a really good Batman. And, uh, yeah, I like all the little dents and scratches in the design. Clothes have wrinkles, the blades on the arm, cape. I think it's nice, and, uh, Batman, is there, no... He does have an alternate costume, which is Bruce Wayne, and I find that hilarious. You can just go up against frickin' the Red Lantern as Bruce Wayne. 
I find that funny. But, uh, yeah. This design? It looks like Batman. It looks good. It's a good Batman adaptation. Um, I will have to give this a another A. Do I like it more than Green Lantern? No. Uh, definitely an A. Next up, Aquaman. I like this. Uh, I think the alternate costumes. I think when you upgrade him with armor, he does look better. When you get, like, a torso plate for him, when you change the color, because, I don't know, I don't really like the, uh, how the legs look. Uh, and, uh, I forgot to write, tell you, okay, you know what, no, we're just doing design. I don't want to talk about gameplay. I've played as most of them, but not all of them, so there's no point. But, uh, yeah, Aquaman's design, it's pretty fun. Well, not fun. It's pretty, uh, cool. It's a good Aquaman adaptation, though I do think it could definitely be better, so I'm gonna have to give it a B. Not the worst, not the best. Then we got Bane. I really do like this Bane design. I like the armor on him, I like his camo pants. I just really like this Bane, the neon glowing throw suit, the shraps. Belt buckle, everything. I really love this Bane. The little gauntlets as well. Love it. This Bane design is an S tier. Probably one of my favorites. And uh, Hang on, guys. Give me a sec. There we go. I just turned the light on in my room because it was pitch black. And uh, yeah, that was kind of spooky. Ooh. But yeah, uh, we're back now, and, uh, now we're on to Black Adam! That's Spain. Black Adam. This is obviously no shadows, this image I found. And, uh, I like it! I like it a lot, honestly. I feel like with added armor on it, it does look better. But overall, it looks nice. It looks good. Uh, hot take. The Rock was probably the worst casting decision for any character. It... He just doesn't look like the character he's adapting. And also just like... I don't like it. Not this design, the Rock's design. I think it um looks very... Very, this is a better comic adaptation, okay? I like it more, but yeah, I do really like this design. Probably top of A. I really like that design. Doesn't change too much from the source material, but the changes it does make, really nice. And now we got Catwoman. Uh, the mommy in this game. Uh... Honestly, I don't got much to say about the design. It's just like a kind of generic Catwoman. Uh, honestly, I don't really like it that much. I don't really like any of Catwoman's designs, honestly. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a C. I don't know, I just don't really like Catwoman designs. They're too basic for me. Cyborg! This guy looks nice. I like how he always has the arm cannon out. I think he always does. Most, yeah, I think. I do really like this one. He looks nice with, uh, all the techno bits. The armor. The, uh, arm cannon looks nice. And, uh, yeah, his human side does also look nice, so. I don't have anything negative about the cyborg design. Gets an S. Nothing negative about it. Uh, so yeah, nice design. Now on to Green Arrow, one of my favorite DC characters. And, uh, yeah, honestly, he looks nice. I don't really like his base design, though. I feel like with added, added armor, he looks much better. With this hood piece down here, or even with the hat piece that I have equipped on him. Also, the bow looks a bit flimsy. Though, 
All these base costumes look infinitely better than any base costume from Marvel's Avengers. So that's a plus. Uh, yeah. I do like this Green Arrow adaptation. I actually have the McFarland uh, figure of it, but it has the hat. So, I'm going to rank this if it had the hat, because... No, I'm just going to rank their base designs, and without the hat, he is probably an A. I like it more than Batman's design, not more than anything above it, though. Anyway, next up we got Harley Quinn. It's just Harley Quinn. It's your average Harley Quinn design. I do like how they cut it at the waist. And, uh, yeah. Not much to say about that one, in my opinion. It's an it's a good Harley Quinn design, pretty middle of the road. I'll give it a B. Not better than Aquaman, but not as war but not as bad as Catwoman's. Anyway, next we got Superman. I I like this design, but I I don't know why they gave him so much armor. So yeah, I feel like they should have uh not added so much armor and uh. Yeah, I do like the little headgear thingy, and also have this emblem has this little thing coming around that connects the cape. That's a pretty cool design element. Uh, it's not my favorite Superman design, but it is a pretty damn good design for an evil Superman. Again, probably gonna give it an A. Better than Batman, not as good as anything above. Alright. Next, we got Wonder Woman. It's Wonder Woman. Not much to say. There's, like, nothing different. It is just Wonder Woman. And quite honestly, Wonder Woman's design is just okay. Not better than Ollie Quinn's, and not as bad as Catwoman's. It's just okay. So, yeah, and now we got the Joker, Crown Prince of Crime. And, uh, yeah, I do like this design a lot. I like how it has the scars on the chest, the flower, his big open smile. Like, god damn, bro. Bro's dripped out. This guy does only appear in one hallucination in the story. But that's a good use of his character since he did die in the first game. So, yeah. This design? Pretty good. I'd say bottom A. It, it's probably one of my favorite Joker designs. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, now we got a bunch of Injustice 1 characters. This guy, zero clue who he is. He could be Lobo. I think this is Lobo, honestly. Uh, he looks amazing, though. He looks absolutely diabolical this guy is top of s i don't even know who the hell he is he just looks cool we got deadshot from what i can see in this tiny little box he looks good like a middle of the road deadshot design and i do really like deadshot's designs but since i can see so little of it i'll put it at the top of b doomsday it, from what I see, it's just your stereotypical Doomsday design. And I like Doomsday. I'll probably give him... A, right there. Right there. I don't like him more than anything above. Hawkgirl! I don't like Hawkgirl. Not at all. Probably a D. I don't hate her. I have nothing against her. I just, I just don't like her. Compared to other characters. I don't know who the hell- we need another tier. Make it white. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to also put him down there, cause I don't know who he is. Uh, let's see, who else do I not know? From what I can see. that's I think that's Raven. Bad girl. I'm predicting Lobo. 
Absolutely zero clue. Absolutely zero clue. Alright, and I know everyone else. Alright. So, now we're on to Nightwing. Nightwing, my homeboy. Uh, he died in the most pathetic way. Though this design, his head's cut off, but I can only presume it's just the bandana and then the hair sticking out the top, so. Stereotypical Nightwing. Uh, probably... Probably there, since I can't see his head. Uh, Shazam! I have seen this guy's face. I like it, and I think he also has boots. So, honestly, with the big-ass logo... I think it rivals with Black Adams, but it's not as good as Black Adams. If these two are like tied, and I can't overlap them, so. Sinestro. Um, compared to like everything else, he looks basic. He looks basic as freak. So does Hawk Girl. Every other character is like armored. Big ass logos, glowing lights. This man's just in a comic book suit. F. No, I like Shinesho's comic book suit. I'm gonna give it a D with Hawk. Is she wearing a freaking tank top? Alright, moving on. Solomon Grundy, from what I can assume. This is cool. The noose around the neck, the j jacket, the cuffs around the hands. Definite, definite A. Definite A. Raven, why is her skin blue? Or purple, I don't know. D. Batgirl, can't see her to the top of the head. Is she attractive? I don't know. F. No, I like the design from what I see from that. C. C. Uh, from what I can presume is Lobo. If it's not, then I don't know who this is. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that his head is just stereotypical Lobo. I love this design, the hook and everything. Definite S. I don't even need to see the head to know that this is an S-tier design. My, if I see the head and it looks like shit, it's going all the way down to bottom of C. The head of Lobo is what matters most in a Lobo design. You can say that for any character, honestly. If its head doesn't look, if its facial features and helmet head doesn't look like the original character, it, if the facial features are just altered completely, it looks absolutely nothing like the original. If it's a multiverse counterpart, sure, that's fine. If it's supposed to be the same character, no. Marshall Manhunter wears his head, I don't know, from what I can see, it looks like shit, F. Zatanna. Mommy milkers. Uh, stop being cringe. Uh, Zatanna's design. Top C. Um. Alright, uh, now we're back on to Injustice 2. This guy is sick, he usually comes with a cat as well. What the hell are you doing here, freaking pennant uh but yeah we got the red lantern zero clue what his name is but uh yeah it's sick s tier black canary mommy <laughs> uh no uh um yeah with the jacket and everything probably an a tier Bottom A. I do really like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with this. Blue Beetle. Oh god. Oh oh. Oh what have they done to you? This 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 no, not that. This 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 is what he looks like. Well the the This version. This doesn't count because that's a different blue beetle. Neither is this. That's a different. No, that's a villain. I don't know. Why is he here? Um. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no. The mouth kills it. I love blue beetle. I always have an alternate head on. Because, oh, they ruined him. They ruined him. 
They ruined him! <laughs> they ruined him! I can give him bottom D because he at least has a good looking bottom half. Not like. Uh, torso and down. Brainiac. God damn, this guy is dripped out. This guy looks sick. He kind of looks like. No, nah, I was gonna say it looks like Ultron. Nothing like it. Uh, I really like this though. The tentacles, everything. Oh, oh. Uh, probably, probably right now the best design in this game, in my opinion. Most like, yeah, right now. Uh, okay. Next up, Captain Cold. It's a guy with a freeze gun and a sweater. Or a winter jacket. Basic, but that's what Miss Captain Cold is. I wish he had a hood up, though. But, uh, probably top B. Nice design. Dr. Fate. Oh, God. Okay, one thing. Eyes? No, no. Get rid of those. Get rid of the eyes. Without the eyes. If we look past the eyes and the mask, this is a nice Dr. Fate design. I do like the movie one better, even though Black Adam was trash. I do like the movie design better. Uh, I feel like his character was handled really well in this game. I really liked his character. And uh, spoilers for like uh, old, kinda old game. I'm pretty sure it was released in like 2018 or something. So, you know what? I shouldn't have to warn you about spoilers. That's your fault. So, yeah. How he dies, gruesome, but fitting. So, honestly, I'm gonna have to give this a top A. The eyes is what's ruining it for me. It's ruining it. It's ruining it. But... This guy is my second favorite. Blue Beetle's my first. Then it's Dr. Fate. And then it is Green Arrow. Uh, DC characters, at least. But I feel like they did them really well. Just get rid of the eyes. Perfect design. Uh, Firestorm. Boy, looks like that thing from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it is accurate. I like it. And, uh... Yeah, oh god, that scared me. Uh, but yeah. Ah! Give me a sec, guys. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, Fire Firestorm is prob probably a uh, probably top B. Nice design. Um, really god, I like him. I got this figure. Um, nice nice design. Um, uh, probably probably uh. B, yep, B, B's good, uh, Poison Ivy, I like it, um, showing a lot of skin, I like the tentacles, I like the flower crown, um, uh, probably, probably about, there. Uh, da Damien. I don't like his character, but his design's pretty, pretty good. I'd say around there, close with Nightwings. 
I like his Nightwing design more. Uh, Swamp Thing. He's got a thing down there, if you know what I mean. Um, I like it. I like it when he has... I like it when you upgrade him and he has armor on his chest, though, so... Again, top B. Flash. Uh, this is not the Injustice 2 Flash design. Oh, yes. Uh, it changes from different versions. This one, I like it. So, honestly, I think I'm gonna have to give this Flash, I actually have a figure of it. I'm gonna have to give him probably probably an S, honestly. About there. No, A, I mean A. Sheeta, I'm not even gonna look. She is a baddie, though, so probably top C. Deadshot. Oh, I need to show you this Sheeta, by the way. Deadshot. Ooh la la, yes! This design slaps like holy. Absolute banger. Definitely. Definitely. All right, so yeah, um, let's just finish this up. Uh, Scarecrow, S tier design, best design in this game. He looks amazing. I love him so much. This looks amazing. The noose, everything about this is amazing. Um, Supergirl, Adam. Supergirl's probably around here, and Adam's. Probably, probably there. <sighs> yeah, I don't really like Adam in this game. I like this one. B. Hellboy, he's cool. Definitely, definitely an S tier design. I really like this t Hellboy design. Really nice. This guy, I only use him because he has the black lightning skin. Normal. F. Red Hood. Definitely. Definitely an A. Better than Deadshot. This isn't, this isn't Starfile's newer design, so. Starfire. Probably. Probably there. Uh. Dark side, I like him. He's cool in this game. Uh, definitely around there. Enchantress design, I don't like Enchantress, so F. The, T the TMNT were done justice in this game. Their designs are so cool. They were done justice. Definitely, definitely an S. Totally not because I love the Ninja Turtles and I'm biased. Then Sub Zero, really sick design. Honestly, probably around. Probably there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my finished Injustice 2 tier list. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Uh, bye.